In this video let's talk about Manny Pacquiao US debut fight. It was June 23, 2001, and the boxing world was abuzz with excitement for Manny Pacquiao's U.S. debut. The Filipino fighter known for his lightning-fast punches and impressive knockout record, was set to take on South African champion Lelo Ledwaba in what would be one of the most memorable fights of his career. As the bell rang, Pacquiao came out swinging, unleashing a barrage of punches that left Ledwaba reeling. Despite being the underdog, Pacquiao showed no fear, moving around the ring with the speed and agility of a man possessed. Ledwaba tried to counter with some heavy blows of his own, but Pacquiao's defense was too strong. His lightning fast footwork and ability to dodge and with made it almost impossible for Ledwaba to land a clean shot. As the rounds went on, Pacquiao's dominance only grew. His relentless attacks wore Ledwaba down, and by the sixth round, the South African fighter was on the ropes. In the seventh round, Pacquiao delivered the knockout blow. A devastating left hook sent Ledwaba crashing to the canvas, and the referee immediately called an end to the fight. It was a stunning victory for Pacquiao, who had proven himself to be a force to be reckoned with in the boxing world. The crowd erupted into cheers as Pacquiao celebrated his victory, and fans around the world watched in awe as the Filipino fighter made his mark on the sport. This was just the beginning of a legendary career that would see Pacquiao go on to become one of the greatest boxers of all time, and his U.S. debut against Lelo Ledwaba will forever be remembered as one of his greatest moments in the ring. He should fight here. He shouldn't try to get into a whole book he had. And he showed us that in South Africa, the first nine rounds of the fight against Contreras. But then he seemed to fade a little bit in the last three rounds. Contreras said to us that he had hurt his fourth round of that fight. We were unaware of it that particular evening. Shots. More on, I will be able to regain it. Blood, blood from blood that water is not. Then you are in shape trying to box a boxer in bad shape. And Pacquiao out. landing some hard shots. That's what you got to do. Throw it all out. Manny Pacquiao has landed the harder shots in round one. And now he dominates the last minute of the round with a full-scale attack against Ledwaba. Freddie Roach said to me yesterday, hey, look, we have great respect for Ledwaba, and we know he's a great boxer. Okay, Manny. A very good work out there. I got it, I got it, I got it. Manny. Manny. This is a good hands, good hands. Okay? Jab, hook, up the middle. You hear me? Okay. Okay. See it. All right. Here he gets off to an uncertain start against Pacquiao's hard punches in round one. And here comes the Filipino fighter again. Boom! Leguaba is going to have to do something to slow down his charge because otherwise he's not... Away from home, can't depend on your boxing skills all the time. You got The fight is yours, but it's not going to develop like that. You talk about getting old in a hurry. Lisanola Ledwaba looks like an old 29 in there against 24-year-old Manny Pacquiao right now. How you feel? You okay? I didn't see the punch. It, it looked like a short left hand. We'll have to see in the replay. I think it was a bunch of punches. I think it was the whole fuselage. I think it started in the first couple of punches thrown in the first round. Absolutely. I think this guy just hit so hard that Lenwaba is totally on the defensive. Lenwaba came in as the potential star. Right now, it looks like Pacquiao may go out as the star. He took this fight on only two weeks' notice, only came here to America ten days ago, and he is banging Ledwaba right now. You gotta fight. If you want to be a star, you gotta fight. That's a rude awakening for a good master boxer like Ledwaba. There you go, a body shot by Ledwaba. That that's may change you got You got right lands, two straight lefts. He went to the body, and that's the most important shot tonight. Right to the body. So Ledwaba momentarily coming alive after having tasted canvas in round two, having tasted his own blood in round one. This is the time to go to the body if you're Ledwaba. Go to the body and beat him. Main town. And he has suddenly stopped 
Pacquiao's assault. Now Pacquiao okay. comes back with a body shot of his own. And bangs Ledwaba again with a big left upstairs. What a fight. They're trading vicious body shots at short range. Not landed that left hook once he throws that. If he's able to throw it, you can see a different fight. A left hook to the body. Well, he's going to get a chance, too, because Pacquiao is squaring up. Oh, fire. Sequence after sequence. Left hook. Give me a left hook. Give me a left hook. Let's see what caused the knockdown directly. All right, seconds out. Oh, yeah, that little left. A little straight left hand that was seconds so out. short that you could hardly corner, see guys. it, but obviously Ledwaba really now. winning this fight hands down. Pacquiao is asking questions of Ledwaba he may never have been asked before. Abani pleading with him as he got up out of his corner between rounds. Took, land the left hook. Pacquiao to the body. And another. And a big right hand upstairs. And now he's got Ledwaba back on the defensive and bleeding badly. He's got to stay on it. He cannot give him a break. Own blood, and some of it is now appearing all over Pacquiao. Ledwaba has American cut man Cassius Green in his corner. The nose is pouring blood. you got to understand, you lose a lot of blood like that. But you need every drop of blood you can. Well, and when it's pouring straight out of your nose like that, George, it's a horrible tape. You don't have it as reserves. Give you oxygen. I don't know if a, what a doctor would say about that. <laughs> I think you would say exactly what you're saying. I think you're entirely on target, George. You need every ounce of fluid you can get. In an experience. We'll find out in a minute. Straight left hand, he said, follow. Three. Okay, Jim, 30 to 26, three rounds to nothing. Uh, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, in the, in the second round, of course, you got to give him a 10-8 round, an extra point for the knockdown. That was incredible. It appeared as, it, it appeared as though Joe Cortez was going to call it no knockdown. He signaled no knockdown. When Ledwaba didn't respond, that's when he picked the count up, interesting enough. Another thing, Cassius Green is probably using adrenaline chloride, 1 to 1,000 in the nose, oh. and ice on the outside to constrict the blood vessels to stop the bleeding from Ledwaba's nose. That straight right hand of his. Shouldn't bend over at all. You just got to stand in position. Does a good job of it. Yeah, but so far, Pacquiao has landed more power shots than Lenwaba has been able to throw punches. So it's a copy box wipeout. There's a big left hand for Lenwaba. But here comes Pacquiao again. Lenwaba stands his ground and just throw the right hand. The guy's right there in front of him. Just the straight right hands now. There it is. Here. Guy from the Philippines. Guy from South Africa. Giving us a hell of a fight. And Pacquiao. Okay, you gotta stop following this man. You gotta step out, cut the ring off for me, okay? Okay. Okay, don't follow him. Now here. Okay. I want more head movement, okay? Don't stand right in front of this man. Manny, look at me. Little head movement, okay? Okay. All right. Just like your face. Right. Leo, 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 okay? Leo. Okay. Okay. You know better than that, right? Yeah. Be smart. You hear me? Have done something wrong? Good head oh. movement. Okay. Let's right, keep it going. Go. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead. The veteran trainer speaking to Galog. Stone, which of course originated with Roberto Duran. Pacquiao, move out of your way. Pacquiao got away with a low blow. Joe Cortez was blocked from seeing it. Freddie Roach also told his fighter, don't follow Lenwaba around. Cut off the ring instead. You got to make the youngster back away. Lenwaba for these five rounds. Because it's been fun for him to pepper Lenwaba with power punches over and over. Yeah, he's caught this guy Lenwaba by surprise. Lenwaba reaches out with a low blow of his own. But Cortez saw that one and said, keep it up. Bob is trying to use his jab, but he's got to make Pacquiao lower his head just a little bit. Jab him to the body three or four times and then come up. Bob getting a little bit more adept at, 
hasn't yet found the right offense to go behind that. That's what Pacquiao's got to do. Keep throwing the shots, Pacquiao. Keep the punching on. You can't allow this guy to get back on you. There are so many southpaw cuties in the lower foot weight classes. There aren't that many southpaw punchers with mustard. Pacquiao is fun to watch. Boom! A good fighter. He had no idea. Pacquiao may take care of it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do you feel? You're going to continue? Ten, ten, ten. When have you ever seen a fighter say, I'm, I'm not okay? There's a weariness and almost a resignation in the eyes of Red Robert. Yeah, and Joe Cortez has seen enough. That's a TKO victory for the very impressive Manny Pacquiao, who takes a good fighter and just takes him apart with power yeah, shots. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Pacquiao took the fight on two weeks' notice. Ledwaba thought he was going to be fighting against a fighter named Enrique Sanchez. As George said, he got surprised here. Uh, I think Pacquiao established himself as a crowd-pleasing entry into the featherweight division tonight. I had never seen him. I frankly had never heard of him. But I've seen and heard of him now. And you want to see him and again. I want to see him again. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> After we saw Ledwaba in South Africa, we said to ourselves, well, let's see him again. He looked really good. Now let's see Pacquiao again. That was some performance. I love you. Yeah, yeah. I see my... So a world title belt for Manny Pacquiao as he lifts it away from Lesanola Ledwaba. There's the first knockdown, straight left hand. It's a quarter to five in the morning in Soweto, where, where Ledwaba is from. There is no joy in Soweto Sunday morning. And here's the second knockdown. And uh, as Larry, as you said at the beginning of the round, there was a weariness about Ledwaba. He it began the round. Weariness. The guy was out. <laughs> <laughs> he went to his corner the previous round out. Yeah, you, you I pointed, pointed that out. out to you. Yeah, that he, wasn't was, it. he was walking on well, little shuffle feet. That was feet. nothing in his eyes but sleep. Yep. Well, and a certain resignation that it wasn't going to get any better. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. when you go to your corner and you can't see, you don't have any resignation. Oh, you are resigned. <laughs> Period. Night, night lights out. Yep. Well, I would have kept him down. Corners it, just in the corner yeah. after round five because of the way he walked back yeah. there. Because he took a huge shot at the end of the fifth round. He didn't know where he was. No, I don't think he could do that with a with a terrific champion. You hope that he can pull himself together and you pay respect to him if he wants to go on. Because what, what go happens on, after this? He didn't, want, he didn't know where he was to want to go. Hey, let's go up the ring and out to Michael Buffer and pay honor to Manny Pacquiao. Ladies and gentlemen, at 59 seconds of round number six, referee Joe Cortez following the second knockdown waves off the count and calls a halt to the bout, the winner by knockout victory, and now a two-time world champion, he is now the reigning IBF Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Manny Pacquiao. You know, I said before this fight, guys, that if he was anywhere near as good as Flash Alorty, we would really see something.